what's going on guys now this is how i defeated this absolute monstrosity of a boss now essentially i've got a magic build on a dark magic build and i've also got a light weapon now this was useful for me in this battle because i needed to dodge significantly blade bearer has very consistent attack patterns she normally attacks you in patterns of three um, if she dashes close to you she does one two three strikes back to back so be careful for that but i tend to use magic to just lure her out and i keep attacking and when she does that that move it does three four spikes on the floor so whenever she holds her hand up she could either she's either charging for attack or she's charging for spikes on the floor directly near her when you see those four spikes on the floor get the hell out of it this is the free combo attack that i was talking about so whenever she gets close to you she tends to do that that move so be careful for that dodge three times when she charges her sword get behind her because she cannot type she cannot attack behind her unlike the other guy who can when you're fighting blade bearer make sure you have your sights make sure the flame boss is in within your sights because he can attack you and he tends to attack you while you're fighting her so be careful so again when she's charging she tends to do this move the best way to dodge that is to get away from it so consistently use your magic to get some distance i use the ice blast because it's fairly consistent when it smacks the ice away it comes back as a homing missile um, which is super useful so again i'm keeping my distance whenever possible i'm trying really to defeat them one at a time and for me the one that causes me the most problems is the blade bearer so i'm keeping my distance making sure i'm dodging her attacks but making sure that the other boss is kind of within my sight so i can see if he does any flame the fact i can dodge his flame very quickly using my build is useful which is why i decided to be a light um light build light character light weapon so again the free the free hit attacks make sure you're dodging it use a magic build to keep some distance and then rush towards her and attack that move there where she attacks the floor it creates an iceberg behind you so make sure you dodge towards her because you cannot again she cannot attack behind her here I die but I get revived with my teammate, thank goodness for that because I saved the fight. Whenever you can, try to use your teammate as bait but make sure that you don't go down, heal them if they go down because you're going to need them to heal you consecutively. So right now I'm trying to get to her but the other boss, Kananea, is getting in my way because it's going to happen to you a lot. So just make sure you can try to keep a distance away from the two and take care of Blade Bearer first because our combos are predictable. So you're going to watch me continuously do the same the same strategy, hit a magic, go up to a striker a few times, dodge her attacks. I'm not rushing here. Remember, it's not a race. At the end of the day, you're going to need to defeat two of these, these enemies, Blade Bearer and the Cannoneer. Once that's done, as you can see, my life is significantly low, but we now only have this guy to deal with. Now his patterns are unpredictable because he can hit you with a front on fireball which is extremely quick this guy's extremely fast in comparison to what you would think he would be for his size he can also attack you from behind so make sure you're watching not only your stamina gauge but you're watching the floor the good thing about this guy is he's fairly weak and once you get right in his face he doesn't really have many attacks to combo you he can smack you away with like um, an energy wave but other than that there's not really much he can do so the key to killing the cannoneer is to get in his face Dodge whenever you see a flame on the floor and remember he can attack behind you so keep dodging him, get close to him and just overwhelm him with attacks and that's going to be the easiest way to defeat him. I would suggest using the killing the blade bearer first because she's the most troublesome um, and Kanine is easier to fight. If this video was helpful in any way make sure you comment, like, share and subscribe. If you beat the boss come back and tell me you beat him and check out my other videos. Peace.